Welcome back to Max Ninja. In the introduction part of the chapter, congruency of triangles, we have studied the congruency between two lines. Do you remember what is the congruency between two lines? If two lines are said to be congruent, they both have same length. In other way, if two lines have same length, definitely we can say that these two lines are congruent. But now, today, we are going to study the congruency between two angles. Do you know what is an angle? Angle is formed by joining two rays. An angle will be measured in degrees with the help of a protractor. Okay. To study the congruency between two angles, I have bought a pair of angles. First angle is angle BAC. AC and AB are the arms of this angle and A is the vertex of this angle. One more angle I have bought. Angle QPR. PR and PQ are the arms of this angle and point P is the vertex of this angle. Okay. To know whether these two angles are congruent or not, I have to keep one angle over the other. So, the vertex P and vertex A join together. And I am going to check whether these arms are coinciding or not. See, these two arms are coinciding. So, I can say that these two angles are congruent. And from this example, we can say that the measure of both these angles are same. That means, for getting congruency, the measurement of angles should be equal. I have bought one more pair of angle. Angle Y, X, Z and angle M, L, N. I am going to keep one angle over the other. See what is the vertex of this angle? X. And what is the vertex of this angle? L. I am going to keep one vertex over the other. See. Are these angles congruent? No. Why? The arms are not coinciding. Here, these two arms are coinciding, but here it is not coinciding. That means, measure of these two angles are not same. From this, I can conclude that if the measure of angles are not same, means that two angles are not congruent. If the measure of angles are same, these two angles will be congruent. Finally, these two pair, this pair is a congruent pair, but this pair is not congruent. Measure of these two angles are same, measure of these two angles are not same. That's why this is congruent and this is not congruent. So I am going to write down measure of angle this M denotes measure. Measure of angle QPR. QPR. We should not read PQR. Why? Always, while we are saying the name of an angle, always the vertex should be in the middle. So, if you want, you can read QPR or RPQ. Okay, measure of angle QPR is equal to measure of angle BAC. Measure of angle BAC indicates, implies these two angles are congruent. That means angle QPR is congruent to angle BAC. In other way, we can write down angle 
क्यू पी आर इज कॉन्ग्रुवेंट टू एंगल बी ए सी इम्प्लाइज मेशर ऑफ एंगल्स मेशर ऑफ दीज टू एंगल्स आर सेम दैट मीन्स मेशर ऑफ एंगल क्यू पी आर इज इक्वल टू मेशर ऑफ एंगल बी ए सी आई होप यू एंजॉयड माई क्लास इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट अबाउट द कॉन्ग्रुवेंसी ऑफ एंगल्स डेफिनेटली आस्क टू मी थ्रू कम एंड बॉक्स इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड सपोर्ट मी साइनिंग ऑफ एम ई बी जॉय फ्रॉम मैक्स निंजास